All right. In the end, or are you sure, Department, Lubbock Parks and Recreation says you're more than welcome to eat the fish out of the Playa Lakes. Our Emily Harrison caught up with Parks and Rec, who say our Playa Lakes are better than you might think. Terry, your dinner might be closer than you expect. Experts say that it's more than safe to eat the Playa fish right out of the lake, but that isn't stopping the debate on whether we should. Would you eat it? That's the question some fishers are divided on. If it was the last thing on the world, yeah, I'd eat it. I, I think it's perfectly safe. I would be a little weird, leery of it, but I would still, I don't have a problem with it. Ronnie Gallagher with Parks and Recreation put the debate to an end, saying the worst thing that could happen is you gain a few pounds. Just remember that uh, more than likely if you fry them, it's going to be more dangerous for you than anything else because you're getting more fat intake than what you need, so it's bad for your cholesterol. <laughs> so that's really the worst thing that's going to come that's out of it? That's the worst thing that's going to come out of it. You're going to get more cholesterol if you eat fried fish. And the Texas no. Commission on Environmental Quality agrees, noting our Playa Lakes have an average toxicity, meaning if you're willing to catch it, you're more than welcome to eat it. All of the waters in our lakes are within those threshold levels, so there's nothing that's they're going to impact that's going to cause the fish to be harmful. But like all things, nothing is completely safe. There could be chemicals picked up by rainwater or dumped in by excessive flooding. Either way, Parks and Recreation says eat, but in moderation. I've never eaten a fish out of the city lakes, but I've never caught a fish out of the city lakes. So once again, the, the levels of the water that are in there have been tested and they're not over the threshold the TCEQ requires that we would have to do any kind of mitigation for if it was over those levels. Gallagher says it's actually during these summer months that is the best time for you to come out and catch a fish. But reminder that before you do, you need to have a fishing license. Reporting in Buster Long Lake, I'm Emily Harrison, KLBK News.